Hello everyone, this is Jeffrey Jutai7 and welcome to the video. If you guys checked out my community post from yesterday, you guys exactly know what today's episode is going to be about. Uh, we're using legendary Suzuki Eskido at Sedina, a hundred event. Um, if you guys want to know where to find this car, um, it's at Legends Car Dealership. Um, this car uh, actually showed up about two or three days ago and I'm glad to say that it is still here. As you see, it's right here in the far right of the screen, um, costing you just 1.7 million credits. Um, so I really recommend you getting this car before it uh, basically is sold out from the uh, legendary car dealership. Uh, here's all the stats you need to know. It's right below the 800 points cut line, so this car is perfect uh, for all the 800 events. Um, with just less than 1,000 horsepower, uh, under 700 torque uh, foot per pound and you can also see the weight is just a little bit over 1700 pounds so this car is a beast uh, to drive um, just show you guys what I will be using for both my livery and my parts I'll be using my monster energy livery uh, for the rims it's going to be standard rims uh, that's what I recommend doing and just having it all the way standard all the way through um, I mean I could you could use rims um, any rims, but I just prefer the standard rims um, over the other rims. Uh, so here's the setup for the car that I'll be using. Um, racing softs will be the tire choice for this race. Um, the suspension, you can either copy the numbers you see on the screen or you can customize it uh, to ever what liking you like in your suspension. Um, my do uh, uh, recommend is making sure you have 0 .7, 0 .9 rear negative camber. And for the differential, I recommend the 5.5.60 method, 5 for torque, 5 for acceleration, and 60 for braking. Uh, your front and rear torque, 50-50. Uh, the rear downforce is going to be 699. The front downforce is going to be 335. Uh, ECU is going to be full control on computer, leave it at 100. Same thing for the power restrictor, leave it at 100. Uh, fully customized racing transmission, uh, set it to 350. Uh, the last thing you need is the turbocharger set to high RPM, and that is basically is it for the setup. Um, going to show you guys now how good the car is on the first lap of the race, and you can just see that we're just basically easily up to 17th right now and this car has really amazing speed really amazing acceleration uh, the one key factor is just to make sure is whatever turn you're at make sure you're at the right gear if you're one gear too far up uh, then the car will have terrible turbo lag I mean it, it'll basically be stalled out uh, so just make sure um, in all these turns that you'll be at the right gear uh, for instance for this uh, particular corner. You could go second gear right here, but uh, third gear would be fine um, if you choose to be in third gear rather than second through here. As you can see, we're making a huge momentum to the front all the way to P7 as we fight with the Subaru uh, for this particular corner. We'll have the better traction off the corner and we'll easily get to seventh place. So this car really is a beast around this track. Um, the only downfall to this car, as you can see from the bottom right of the corner, is fuel consumption. Uh, this is a two-stop strategy, essentially. Uh, we're going to race a few map three through the whole race, um, which to me feels very nice, feels very balanced, as we're going to avoid the GTR from just smacking it in the rear. And for our first lap, we went from last place all the way to P4. So P4, P3 is usually what I usually get doing this run. So we'll get P3 before we hit our first breaking point at the first turn. Uh, fast forward now to later in lap 2. Uh, we were able to quickly uh, catch the Viper and we'll actually blow past the Viper for the lead. Uh, so this car, once you know the limits of the car, it should be very easy, simple driving, and easily dominate. As you can see, that we actually have caught up with the back markers um, in the fifth lap. So lap five, we're going to come into the pits and just get us a fresh set of tires and some fuel. 
uh, thankfully since we have the new map uh, since it was released I think it was either update 1.33 or 34 um, we can now pinpoint to see when are the other drivers um, when they appear uh, so you I do recommend still looking back when you do leave the pits but since we have the map now uh, we can now have a stress free of that whole scenario when you leave the pits so as we turn back to track if you want to just look back just make sure it's clear um, now I'm going to fast forward to lap 9 this is going to be a hot lap for the race just give you a quick guide around the lap for this car so you're going to break right after the 150 brake sign so a little bit close to 100 second gear and then you're going to basically change gears once you see the light blue rev bar um, that's what I recommend doing then your brake once you approach the 50 mirror sign all the way to third gear just gain a little throttle through here and then brake again in second gear then get back to the gas and through here you should be right at fifth gear uh, brake right at the 50 mirror sign uh, you want to go down second you'll stay once you see the light blue bar then you go all the way to third fourth and fifth um, you should be all the way to sixth gear uh, before your next breaking point and your next breaking point should be you right at 150 that's what I recommend uh, you'll be going all the way down to second gear stay close to the right side of those curbs and basically through here it's gonna be full throttle through here and then you're gonna let off the gas here brake a little bit to get back to power halfway into that midpoint so right when you're below the bridge get back to full power brake at the 100 mirror sign all the way down to second gear stay close to the left side of that wall straighten out the car and then through here this last little part uh, you will momentarily let off the throttle, just let cuss, and then get back to the power halfway through the corner. And that's basically how it lapped through Sedina as we did a 128.955. So yeah, this car is really quick. Uh, so lap 10, uh, making our last pit stop. Uh, same thing as the first pit stop, you'll be changing tires and be adding fuel. Uh, what I recommend doing is just you just had enough fuel in the race um, so yeah this car is really quick uh, like I said the only downfall with this car is just making two pit stops but uh, with it having really strong handling very strong uh, pace overall uh, you should have no problem uh, repassing on these cars and just mainly just driving through the field uh, pretty easily Now we're back on track, just make sure you look behind you before it's clear, and then that's basically it. Alright, so overall review for the last lap, the car, I really recommend trying this out. Um, we accidentally choked the last turn, or the first turn. Uh, so that kind of cost us a little time there, but other than that, this car is really amazing to use. I mean, I know it's not as strong as it was back in the early days back in before they did update one point uh, I think it was 29 or 130 when they changed the uh, dynamics of the game when well, the cars became so understeery um, but I really recommend just giving this a shot if you have the car 100% give it a shot um, also this car is good in Tokyo as well but if you're not a big fan of Tokyo then this is a good uh, grinding spot for you to use. Um, you, there's also some Group C cars you can also do as well. And if they do show up on the dealership, I will cover them as well. Uh, just for more of a refreshed reminder or refreshed gameplay through that as well. So we come to the final turn here. Um, yeah, this car is really amazing. It felt really good forgot to mention I used the steering wheel for this race and this is actually my first time using the wheel for this race and it actually felt pretty good I could actually had felt grip had great speed uh, across the finish line we just ran out of fuel right at the last second it's going to be a 23 38 uh, so if we didn't mess up that first turn I'm looking at maybe a 23 34 35 um, but yeah this is a really good strong build uh, 
Like I said, 128.95 was our fastest lap, and we were able to keep the clean race bonus, which is also pretty cool. So, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Hope you guys do give this uh, build a shot. Uh, really strongly recommend doing it if you're looking uh, for a strong, simple build to use at Sedina. Um, this car is one of many that can get the job done. Um, also, like I said, I've done a video on Tokyo Expressway as well. So if you guys want to check out that video, you can click on top right of the screen right now. If you want to check that out as well. Um, but yeah, it was just a real huge blast uh, just to drive this car. It was really, really fun. Um, but yeah. So I got a cool plan for tomorrow. I had a special request uh, from someone. And they want me to do a special build um, using the Ferrari uh, 250 GTL. Now if you guys are not really familiar with this car, I'll show you um, some quick clips of what the car looks like and where to get it and all that stuff. Uh, so here's the interior of the car. As you guys may guess, this car is from the 60s. Uh, you can just tell by the inside of the car. Um, really luxurious classical race car um, if you guys want to know where to get this car it's right now at the uh, legendary car show dealership you guys might have spotted it earlier in the video uh, but one thing to note is 20 million credits um, so uh, here's the, just mainly the main stats for the car just 535 uh, performance points uh, right off very low horsepower uh, it's just below 300 as you can see right here very low torque as well just a little bit over 221 uh, torque and 1900 pounds for weight and naturally inspired uh, but I'm going to try to do a Tokyo grind build out of it if I can um, as you can see at the top of the screen, um, I got 600 points uh, for my current build. Um, so I'm going to try to attempt to see if I could do this race in Tokyo or not. Um, if not, the, you could probably try this car at the Human Comedy uh, Mission race at Alsace. Um, I did a race on it earlier, and the current build I have for that particular race, it was pretty competitive. I was actually at the end of lap 2, uh, was about to get second place and had the fastest lap at that time, so I'll see what I can do with that. But anyway, if you guys want to check out my last video with the Super Special, uh, you can click on right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, if you guys enjoy what you saw today, why not subscribe, turn on that bell on for notifications, that way you guys can keep track of my, commit, my post and videos. Again, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later.